If we're going to really be successful um, in, in this country in the future, I think we're going to need to breed a whole new generation of entrepreneurs. Businesses are becoming more and more efficient, which sadly means in many respects that less and less people are employed in them because robotics, photonics, and various other technological advancing, advances allow them to do that. If we're going to employ people, we are going to have to be more entrepreneurial. We are going to have to find ways of encouraging young people or people who are in businesses who see a niche in the market to get out there and start their own business. And what's very interesting listening to each one of you this morning has been the fact that you all come from different backgrounds, you've all had different experiences, and you're all setting off down a path to not only be a business in its own right, but you want to grow quickly. And if there's one thing that can make a difference to prosperity in the UK, it's high growth, fast growth businesses. And listening to these young people this morning shows that we're on the right track. Now maybe this is what I would describe as to some extent the pinnacle of the new entrepreneur of the year uh, system. But this is just a process. We must be able to encourage many more to become entrepreneurs. And it's not about giving them an education in entrepreneurialism. It's about creating a culture, an educational culture, in which education is delivered, but being enterprising and being entrepreneurial is just a part of the way of life. Because the more we can do that, the better. Now what's also interesting is that every single one of these have talked about the digital economy and the need for skills in the digital area. Yes, some of them are delivering in paper, some of them are delivering in person, but they are all using the digital space. And if there's one other thing that I think is really important is that young people should be encouraged and given the opportunities to earn those digital skills. And I know that I perhaps shouldn't back one particular horse on the stage, but already what I'm doing with my inspiring digital enterprise awards, which has the really quite challenging task of, of creating a million digitally skilled young people over the next six years. This is also part of the key aspects that I believe are going to make a huge difference to the UK. So in each and every one of these things that we are doing, we can see that there is a flow through to give young people an education, young people a skill, and then as they progress through, they reach this stage. And once they become a new entrepreneur, then they have to go on and not only be mentors and then have to go back in to the educational system, but we want to encourage them to be role models, role models across a whole range of activities. I have nothing against uh, footballers. To become a footballer and to become a really good footballer, you have to spend hours and hours of time and energy and effort in order to achieve that skill. If you look at it in the business world, and if you look at it in the world of prosperity, in the world of employment, there are lots and lots of people out there, like these people being entrepreneurs, who are spending hours and hours of work honing their skills and honing their activities in order to give other people prosperity. I think that these young people deserve just as much right to be role models and to be held up as examples of what we really aspire to be 
in the same way that football was up. So these awards are incredibly important, not only in their own right, but also in the process of encouraging people to recognize there's a lot more in you than you ever imagined if you had the opportunity. So for you guys and girls, I wish you every success in your endeavors and enjoy the deliberations. Thank you very much indeed.